How's it going everybody and welcome back to the MGSR server. If you haven't seen the last episode, we worked on transporting the villagers over to this room right over here. And as you can see, we currently have five villagers in this room. And on today's plan, we're actually going to be finishing this room hopefully, but we still will need to add about five more villagers to the other side, which we're going to do in a later video once I find another village that doesn't have these guys because all these guys want is leather and I want some different trades and all they have is leather so hopefully I can find some different villagers that have different trades and I can bring them over to the underwater base but to start off the video we're going to go get some quartz because I need quartz pillars and quartz stairs for the top part of where the villagers are at and it looks like I don't have that many quartz and it looks like there's only a few in here Oh, that's wool. And let me check behind because the right miscellaneous chest is full. Let me see if there's any back here. Alright, there's none in here. Ooh, looks like there's about 30 pieces in here. But I'm actually going to have to delete those because I used a silk touch pickaxe for those. But before I delete them, I'm actually going to see if I can get a fortune pickaxe. But first, let me just place them all out and then I will hopefully get a fortune pickaxe by crafting up another diamond pickaxe. And I will let you guys know once I have the pickaxe crafted up. Alright, I got an efficiency 1 pickaxe, which I guess is alright. Though I was hoping for a fortune, I wasn't able to get it. So I'm just going to delete all these, and we'll see where it puts me. And then I'll craft up some pillared quartz, as well as some quartz stairs. Alright, I just got shot, and I don't know what was shooting at me. But I don't think I fell or lost any health. Oh, there's a skeleton right there. And he definitely spawned from behind where he is now. But I don't know why he spawned over here. It's pretty bright over here. But I'm going to be adding some lighting to the village room later in the video. And we'll see how it works and how it looks. And I may add it to the underwater base. But let me finish crafting up these quartz pillars. And I'll start placing some of them. And I will check in with you guys once I have an update. This is all I was able to place. And I don't need that many pieces left. I only need about 13 or 14. Which means I really only need about a stack of quartz. So let me go over to the portal and hopefully find about a stack of quartz. And I will do a time lapse of that and I will see you guys once I am done. It looks like there's a ghast stuck in here, and I was trying to get some quartz, but I actually can't kill him. And I don't know how he got there, but I'm just going to keep deleting quartz, and I will see you guys once I get back to the underwater base. I actually just died from falling in lava by accident, but now let me see how many quartz I got. And let me first grab some food here, because I was running pretty low on some food. And let me craft up some quartz pillars and it actually looks like this is really full so I'm going to just put the nether rack through here and it will actually make its way to the miscellaneous chest which I probably should empty in one of these episodes but now I'm going to craft up some quartz pillars and I'll start placing them in and I'll let you guys know once they're all placed in alright it's all done and instead of adding some buttons I may add something else like a pot plant or something like that and I'm not entirely sure if that'll work on top of stone bricks, but let me craft one up and see if it looks good. Alright, I just placed one in, and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to grab some clay and craft up a few more, and then I'll put them through the furnace melter, and they'll make their way through and turn into brick, which is what you need to craft up these pot plants. So let me keep cranking away, and I will let you guys know once I have them all crafted up. Now I'm actually going to put some blue carpet in the village room and I don't have that many wool though I do have quite a bit of lapis and let me grab some here and see if I can craft up a few more pieces of carpet. This is definitely going to be a multiple episode project but I'm going to place in what I have and I will let you guys know once I have that placed in and then I'll grab the brick from the furnace melter and we'll turn those into plant holders. And from there, I'll put some plants in there, and then we'll keep cranking away at this room. I only got about one and a half rows done, 
But now I'm going to grab the brick and I'll put some flowers in there and I will check in with you guys once I have that all done. I think this design definitely looks better than the original design with buttons. But now I can clear my inventory a little bit and I'll let you guys know what our next project is going to be. I was able to get a few more pieces of carpet by turning some string into wool. But I'm actually going to go exploring for three things. I'm going to go exploring for birch wood. I'm going to go exploring for some sheep that I can use a shear to get some wool. And then I'm also going to be exploring for some other animals that I can kill to get some food. So I will do a time lapse of that and I will check in with you guys once I am done. Before I go out, I'm going to try and get this boat out of here and into the water. Looks like it's actually falling, so I'm going to get out of here before I fall and lose some health. And now it's actually bouncing. So I'm going to see if I can delete it and then I'm actually going to take this boat with me when I go exploring for those three things that I mentioned in the previous clip. So I will see you guys once I'm done. I just found a really large ravine and I'm not actually going to explore it in today's episode. I may end up doing it in a later episode because it looks pretty big and there's actually a creeper down there. But I'm going to keep exploring and I will let you guys know once I have another update. Alright everyone, I just found a village, so I'm going to see how many villagers are here that can trade. Because these green coat villagers do not actually have trades. Let's see this guy right here. Once again, he wants leather, which I really don't want to give up all my leather with these guys. I want something with a different trade other than leather. We had one with paper, but he ended up dying on the way over. Let's see what else we got over here. Is there anybody in here? Nope. Nobody's in here either. There's got to be more than like four villagers over here, you would think. Alright, I just made it back and I wasn't able to get that much wool. But we'll go with what we have and we may have to go out in the next video to grab some more wool in order to get blue carpet. So I'm going to talk over this time lapse and explain why I actually wanted birch or oak wood. When I went exploring, and that is because I need fence posts, and I decided that birch and oak would be the best two for this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these fence posts on the roof to the village room, and from there we'll be putting some sort of lighting source right below it. So it looks like it's like a lamp or a hanging light. So that's why I wanted birch or oak wood, because that way it should light up the roof more, and if this design goes good, I may be putting a similar design here in the underwater base right by the chest organizer because we did have a skeleton spawn in the earlier part of today's episode and I don't really want any more creatures spawning so hopefully this lighting on the roof will decrease the chances they have to spawn here in the underwater base. It looks like I'm almost done so I'll see you guys once I'm done. Alright everyone I just finished placing in these fence posts. And I'm actually going to put glowstone underneath it, I think. I think that'll be the best looking because I really don't want to go out and get some more sea lanterns, especially because there weren't that many in the water fortress that we explored a few episodes ago. I just crafted up a few more fence posts, and I'm actually going to hopefully finish it here with these fence posts. But after this, I'm actually going to go out and get some glowstone because I don't think that we have that many here in the underwater base. Alright, I just got back from the portal of getting some glowstone, and I think this design is going to look cool. And it's really going to light up this room. I had another idea for a light switch, though we're really close to water, so I really didn't want to mess with redstone above the roof here. But let me keep placing these in, and after I finish this row, we'll take a look and see how it looks. And it might be a little low, but let me keep finishing this row here, and then let's take a look. It definitely is a little low. Though I think I'm going to keep it and I will actually raise it up one more when we do the same process in the big room to the underwater base. Alright, I'm actually going to make a fenced in area right here. And I'm hoping that I can find a horse to put in here. And I do have a saddle with some armor on me. So hopefully I can find a horse, but I will keep you guys updated if I can find one. I wasn't able to find a horse. I kept finding donkeys, which you can't actually put a saddle on. But now I'm actually going to empty my inventory and I'm going to put the 
saddle and horse armor away by hand because I don't want those to end up in the miscellaneous chest. And then I'll put everything else back in the chest organizer. And then the next episode we're going to keep working on the lighting as well as the carpet and we may start another project. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and set post notifications to all because there are new how-to GTA videos coming out every day as well as MGSR server videos twice a week. You can also follow me on Instagram at MGSR Gaming. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow for our next GTA how-to video as well as a MGSR server video. Click on the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you and click on the right to subscribe.